Lanasia Extension 9 residents and motorists using the R554 in Lanasia are angry and frustrated by the ongoing roadworks they say are never ending. The stretch of road from opposite Trade Route Mall in Lanasia leading towards the fire station and Lehai is apparently being resurfaced and widened to allow traffic to flow more freely. However, the traffic is hardly free-flowing at the moment, with two entrances to extension 9 completely blocked off by the construction and building materials. Now, the road construction has forced motorists, pedestrians and even taxi drivers to use the gravel road along the R554 to get to the back of the Tembelithle informal settlement to their homes and even destinations. Taxi driver Shepard, who did not want to disclose his identity, says the roadworks is creating a very dangerous situation. Uh, true to the accidents, yeah, it's also frustrating. The gravel road here, yeah, it's making the cars dirty. And yeah, it's the traffic jam here yeah, in the evening, it's bad. Shepard says it is also having a huge impact on his transport business. Uh, it's, yeah, we can say it's reducing the loads because of traffic. This uh, We're hoping for the councillor to do something about it. Uh, I would say he must think about school children because mostly the school children are using this R554. So we plead to him do something about it. A resident of Extension 9 says nothing is being done to expedite the completion of the roadworks. Every time we've got to go, plus it's, it's a high accident rate because there's no stop street when we have to exit. Okay, I didn't speak to anybody, but when the guys were working here, we did speak to them. And then they said they didn't have enough funds, then they stopped. They were doing it here, they do patch at the time. Patch, patch work, then they start. Like today, you'd see them, they'll come and throw water at what they want. Three, four o'clock, they come and just throw water. So there's no dust. But that's like inconvenience. I mean, we need an exit. When you come at night, sometimes you can't see the exit. It's dark, dark. Islamic scholar Mufti Rashid Musa, whose son lives in the area, says the roadworks is extremely frustrating. I will tell you for the age I am, you know, we pass the hill, we're ready for Kabristan, ready for our graves, we're long over 60. Uh, our life is such, especially for the night. Night driving is one of the worst things here. Yeah. Wallahi Allah's qasam for many times, Faisal, what I've been going through is that sometime I come here, I must have turned. Then I must have turned again. And every now and then, then I come into this thing here. Then I have to turn into the squatter area. Then I have to do different things and go back here and come here. You know, it is so frustrating that we don't know what to do. This, this area here is going on for very, very long. And I don't know when they are going to complete this place here. And then, uh, then you come, got a problem with the lights, you can't see. And what about all the elderly people that are still living in this area? What are they going to do? And uh, look at the problem uh, for us to be living in this area and uh, whatever is happening here. It's very, very frustrating. Mufti Musa says the residents are struggling to get officials to expedite the completion of the roadworks along the R554. And who are the ward councillors of this place? I don't even have an idea. Because in certain groups they were saying so and so and so. Nobody would know who's the ward councillor for this area. That means they are basically doing nothing about it. What I've been doing is every time there was a construction that when they were but active here, now you don't even see them. When they were very active, what I used to do is personally go to them. When are you going to complete? When are you going to finish up this work? How long are you going to take? And they really have no uh, direction or idea or whatever. We are just doing what our leaders, our elders or what our you know seniors are telling us and whatever. So I, I, I'm telling you this is a nightmare, Faisal. We are going through a very, very difficult times here. And we hope that, uh, you know, uh, any of the ward councillors or anybody or yourself, you put it into the media or whatever. And uh, we need to move this thing ASAP because, I mean, it's a big community here. Radio Islam International will be speaking to officials in the city of Johannesburg to get clarity on when the roadworks will be completed. But until then, motorists, residents and taxi drivers will have to continue to bear the frustration. Faisal Patel, Radio Islam News, Lanasia, Extension 9.